right, welcome back to the jam. Time for our first jam session of the morning. Well, the queen of all media, Oprah Winfrey, has an incredibly giving spirit, as we all know. But that doesn't mean you can test her, because if you say the wrong thing, be ready for that. <laughs> I clap back when an sight. IG on user, <laughs> yes, an IG user decided to respond to one of Oprah's posts with simply, in quotes, I don't like you. Well, mm. Oprah, you would think with 12.3 million followers, probably has no time <laughs> for that and is going to respond. Uh -huh. But she made sure to clap back and said, then why are you here on this feed? Life Ooh. is too short to follow and engage people you don't like. Ooh. Peace out. Yes. She threw I, the deuces. Ooh. She I love the it. deuces. Because, first of all, it was done so classy. Mm -hmm. In order to put somebody in, the, yep. in their place, you don't have to cuss at them. You don't have to yell at them. So mm -hmm. for her to do it so calmly, she didn't use any foul language, I appreciate that. She got but them right together, no doubt. <laughs> people feel like they can say anything that they want on social media. 100%. And it's like, there are people that I disagree with. I, I don't like President Trump. However, I don't feel the need to go on his social media and talk nasty him to him, dog him out, or treat him as less than a human being. You yeah. know what the thing that I thought right away with this is, A, I did think it was very classy how mm -hmm. Oprah handled this. But I also thought, what pushed Oprah to the brink yeah. in that day? What did Stedman do? <laughs> what did something in the world, another Trump thing that just hit her where she's finally like, I'm responding to stuff. I'm not letting it slide. She I mean, couldn't let it go. Yeah. This is Oprah Winfrey. This is Oprah Winfrey with 12.3 million Instagram followers. You mm -hmm. know how many she follows? This is the true boss part of it. Zero, Me and Beyonce. Zero <laughs> followers. Oh. She follows nobody. Right, right. And for her to respond to Aubrey, whomever, I'm not going to give her the, the <clears throat> power to have her full government name out here. Right. But Aubrey says that. And when Aubrey goes back to her feed and sees Oprah clap back, she's right. probably like, whoa, I was not I mean, expecting this. If you upset Oprah Winfrey, one of the nicest people ever, right. then you know you did something wrong. <laughs> but I think you, you kind of hit on this. It speaks to a bigger problem to me of people forgetting on social media with even celebrities and public figures that these people are human beings and we still have to yeah. talk to each other with civility. Yeah, you know? like what was your, what were you trying to accomplish right. by telling her that you don't like her? Good What's luck the getting point? in the mind of trolls. I will say this, it's very <laughs> yeah. presidential of Oprah Winfrey to start responding on oh! social media. That's kind of been the trend. <laughs> the All right. mill keeps rolling. <laughs> uh, 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 and another, in a serious note, continuing serious note, Katie Couric has ended her silence on her longtime Today Show co-host, Matt Lauer, whom with she worked with for 15 years, and the sexual misconduct allegations against him. She told People Magazine, quote, the whole thing has been very painful for me. The accounts I've read and have heard have been disturbing, distressing, and disorienting, and it's completely unacceptable that any woman at the Today <laughs> Show experience this kind of treatment. I had no idea this was going on during my tenure or after I left. Kirk went on to say, this wasn't the Matt Lauer that she knew. Mm. Now, you know, it, it's really interesting to me because so many times when you hear about this bad behavior, like a Harvey Weinstein, you know, taking it to other scandals, like, you know, a Joe Paterno thing that went on at Penn State, yeah. it's widely believed by people that if you're so close to somebody, how can you not know? Right. And I'm not saying Katie Kirk's a liar because clearly she's saying she didn't know, but you kind of kind of look and think, to be that close to me for 15 years, right. did Matt Lauer keep it that good of a secret, that awful of a secret, but was mm -hmm. that, you know, adept to living in the shadows? I mean, do you really believe there's no way Katie Curry I, I find it hard to to believe just yeah. because it seems yeah. like a lot of it was done in the workplace. And it, it just seems like you would have heard some kind of rumbling, some kind of rumor. Seems like you would have heard something. That's what I mean. Yeah. Even if you didn't see it to that extent, yeah. it seems like you would have heard something. But mm. um, I get it. You know, when you're judging a person, you're not judging, judging the whole, you have to judge the whole person. And so she's trying to, of course, stick up for her friend, her co-worker. And show another side to this person. I think it's completely possible that she didn't know these awful things. However, when you know somebody, sometimes you might hear things you don't want to believe. Yes, them, and I think that's I mean? a greater point. And that can be a thing as you well. Know, it also goes to show me just how conflicted people are who are mm -hmm. close to Matt Lauer in his life. I mean, she came out basically when this whole thing unraveled back in November said, I need to digest it and I'll speak when I'm ready to. Well, yeah. now we're a couple months removed and Katie Couric's just now feeling like she can make, which isn't an explosive statement, a pretty simple one, but it shows you just right. how calculated people have to be when they put their opinion out on this. I can only imagine what it's like for Hoda, who's replaced Matt Lauer, Hoda Gosh. Copy, who's now in place of him, who was close with him, as well as Savannah Guthrie, who shared the desk. Yeah. So tough for them, too. It's a really interesting place for them to be in, but ultimately this is, you know, impacted change, and mm -hmm. it's all for the better that this is out there, and, and the monster-like behavior of Matt Lauer has been no on doubt. Earth. So.